I thought in this video we could tackle some low hanging fruit such as add honey badger alerting for exceptions both in the Elixir and JavaScript. Uh, tweak some CSS because the fonts are somewhat small on the home page. Uh, fix the testing experience to make sure that we can just run mixed text and all the tests are passing. And add a about us section because as we begin to send people to the site maybe they want to read a little bit more literature about what this space is about so in adding the honey badger i've added the latest gem which is 0 0.18 and i pulled up their installation page over here so first we add the um, the package then we add a configuration for Honey Badger and API key. So let's do this. So we'll put that into our config. I think we can just put it uh, near the bottom here. Config. And this, we can make this come from an environment variable, much like how it's brought in for, and we'll probably move this to an environment variable as well. And so we can, uh, let's see, system.getEnd. with an optional string. So this can be the honey badger key. API key. Honey badger API key. And if that's null, then we can default to something. We got this. What else? We would also want the uh, environment name, which I think they said it defaults to the mix environment name, which is fine. It would be prod or dev. So I think we can use the defaults there. And then for a Phoenix app, we just use use Honey Badger plug in the router. So I don't think we need this. So we'll go to the router and stick that into the top of the file. Use Honey Badger plug. It's best to use Honey Badger plug after the router plugs so that exceptions due to non-matching routes are not reported to Honey Badger. After the router plugs? I think it's in the right place. Logger. Just set the use logger option true in your applications config xs config logger config logger set the use logger option. What is use logger? I don't see any use logger to true and you're good to go. Any SASL compliant processes that crash will send an error report to the honey badger logger. After the error reaches the logger, we take care of notifying Honey Badger for you. Uh, I don't see a place to set the use logger, but we are using logger here. So I guess we're good. You can manually report with a notifying, so don't need that yet. Breadcrumbs allow you to record events along a process execution path. If an error is thrown, the set of breadcrumb events 
will be sent along with the notice. They contain helpful hints. We leverage telemetry to automatically create breadcrumbs from specific events. Ecto, we can create breadcrumbs from Ecto SQL. You must specify in the config which Ecto adapters you want to be instrumented. Okay, we can add that to our config honey badger XR repo. Okay, sample application. Filtering this grouping, I think we're good. All right, let me pause here and look up documentation for the JavaScript. Over here in the Honey Badger panel, I found instructions for adding the JavaScript so we can add this to our header, our layouts. So we can add this to, where's our layout file? The XR web templates layout. There's the XR root which we can do something like whoops if something is true do place this down here we want to log production errors so this will be if the application dot get and honey badger and environment is equal to prod and what is the environment name right now So if it's prod, we'll do that. Um, what's interesting is that it loaded prod even though I didn't set this. So I think we should override some of these things inside. Dev. thing environment name default is prod required so we can set logger oh here's where you use enable honey badger logger outside of web request use logger true yeah Just set the and the uh, set it defaulted this to Set this for each environment. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so I'll set that in dev. Set this in test. Prod, it'll be prod already. So that will make it so that so over here when we get prod, that's when we do the logging. What else would we need to do? Got that part. Start reporting exceptions. Yep. Add the zip. 